Welcome to Raw Online. I am Dr. Venkata Krishnan, Professor of Medicine. We are going to discuss basic MCQs in gastro. So, usually it will be useful for UGs and the beginners. The most common cause of acute gastroenteral hemorrhage is. Now, scenario based questions or the change in scenario, everything is there now in NEET. The most common cause of acute GI hemorrhage is peptic ulcer. Others are not common. Mallory V's is retching, prolonged retching. The scenario can be a 30 year old with no comorbids presents to the emergency with acute bout of hematemesis, sudden bout. What is the most likely diagnosis? Without no comorbids, examination, everything is normal. If there is examination shows ascites and jaundice, then you can suspect a liver disease and say it is esophageal varices. Duodenal ulcer can perforate or bleed. Gastric ulcers also can produce. So, duodenal ulcer and gastric ulcer both can have presentation. The initial presentation can be as a bleed. That is what we should know. What are the common sites of bleed? So, what is the greater curvature ulcer, lesser curvature ulcer? Greater curvature ulcers you should be very careful. Mostly it is malignancies. Pyloris, duodenum, all will have and what bleeds is the gastroduodenal artery in a duodenal ulcer. Urea breath test is used in the diagnosis of infection by very easy, it is nothing. It is for H. pylori. H. pylori is a very important pathogen which produces effects by various VAC A toxin, cytotox, cytotoxin. VAC A is the most common, which invades the cells and produces cell damage and produces ulcers and atrophic gastritis. Chronic H. pylori can produce atrophic gastritis, which can lead to malignancies. That is a problem with H. pylori. H. pylori specific stains are there, Warthin starry stain. GM sustain, treatment, triple therapy, quadruple therapy. Everything you should know about H. pylori. Urea breath test is a screening test, not the diagnostic test. It is a screening test used in community settings to find out the prevalence of H. pylori. What is classically used is an invasive test. Do an endoscopy and take a punch of a bit of tissue and do a rapid urease test which is almost as good as a biopsy. The gold standard if they ask what is the gold standard for diagnosis of H. pylori infection, it is biopsy. The following food should be avoided with patients with celiac disease except very easy question, the answer is rice. Wheat, rye, barley, oats also will produce problems with in celiac disease, all dyspepsia, bloating, everything happens with a celiac disease. And we should know what celiac disease affects which part of the gut it affects, how to diagnose, what are the biopsy features, we should be knowing in celiac disease we get various malabsorptions. All are common causes of acute pancreatitis except, if you say what is the most common cause of acute pancreatitis, it is not alcohol, say it is gallstone. In community setting now alcoholism is rampantly there, chronic alcoholism, you can say alcohol, but Gallstones are the most common cause of especially CBD stones, common bile red stones will cause acute pancreatitis. Alcohol is the secondary cause, trauma rare. If there is a trauma, severe trauma, definitely duct damage occurs and produces acute pancreatitis. Idiopathic, idiopathic calcific pancreatitis and pancreatitis due to various toxins, especially in Kerala you get toxins from tapioca and other foods, food toxins can produce pancreatitis. Infliximab is used in the treatment of EC, nothing uh, special. The answer is Crohn's disease. For ulcerative colitis, usually mesalamine is used. Local steroids, mesalamine is used. Then advanced disease, you go for immunosuppressants. The difference between ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, we should know. Crohn's disease can affect any part of the gut starting from the oral cavity to the 
But what happens is classical rectal sparring you get in Crohn's disease. The tenismus, colitis, all features usually not seen in Crohn's disease. It can cause strictures anywhere in the gut. Most commonly it produces malabsorption. Gallstones are an association. Strictures and intestinal obstruction is a feature of Crohn's disease. Skip lesions, all you know, skip lesions. In contrast, ulcerative colitis presents with bloody diarrhea, colitis, and the biopsy features are different for ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Pyderma gangrenosum, other extra GI manifestations are seen with Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. Infliximab is used for various autoimmune diseases. It is used for rheumatoid arthritis. If you use, before using infliximab or any biologicals, we have to rule out a latent TB. Work of all TB. It can flare up TB and other infections. The problem with all the biologicals is they can flare up in infections and produce life threatening serious infections. Irritable bowel syndrome, its uh, diagnosis specifically, Rome criteria is there, where episodes of stools along with constipation, bowel pain, abdominal pain. The treatment is various drugs which can reduce the bowel secretions and some antidepressants. Gastric carcinoma, it is not, infliximab is not, you give a chemotherapy, capsetab and other, other new chemotherapies are available now. 